hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how we can attach to a running excel instance and how we can set active excel worksheet how to add a new worksheet and how we can get the column name and also we will learn about how to get the first free column and row in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely so let's get started so on my screen you can see that i have opened a file which is named as cash payments right and it has two worksheet so first worksheet name is data and the second one's name is last year data right so both of them have some different value correct so because this excel worksheet is already open so so let's get back to the power automate desktop and then from there i can choose attached to running excel right so here what i'll do is i'll let drag the attached to running excel action and from here i have to provide the path of the file so you have to click on this and then provide the path of the file so here you can see that i have provided the path of the file and the file name is cash payments.xlsx right and then i will click on save and then what i want to do is i want to get the i want to set the active excel worksheet right so i'll drag the uh, set active excel worksheet action and from here i will choose the index so i have two options either i can choose the index or i can choose the name so i'll go ahead with the index right so here the index will not start from the zero okay so it will start from the one two three just like this so when you look at this my excel file here you can see that i have so when you look at this excel worksheet the second excel worksheet is selected here right so what i want to do is i want to set the first excel worksheet okay i want to set the first excel worksheet as active one right so i will go back to the power automate desktop and here i will put one right and then i will click on save And then I will click on run and I will focus the Excel worksheet the moment bot is run you can see that the data the first Excel worksheet is highlighted now right so that is the worksheet which is in focus at the moment because I had put the number one right so now if I go back to power automate desktop and here if i want to add a new worksheet so i can just drag and drop the add new worksheet right and from here i can give the worksheet name as test right and here you have to choose an option like you want to add it as a first worksheet or the last worksheet so let's say if i say it should be my first worksheet then if i click on save and run the bot you will see that the test worksheet will be added in the excel workbook so if i open now when the bot is done you see that the test is the first excel worksheet now if you get, go back to power automate desktop so we have learned about set active excel worksheet and we have also learned about add new worksheet right let's say i want to know the column name see if i just drag it here right after attaching to running excel instance and i want to you know get the name of the column which is at the first location or let's say second location column number is two so it will give me the name i will click on save right and then i will click on I will put a breakpoint here 
then we can run the bot. So here you can see that when I run the bot, I get the column name as B because B, B is the second column in this worksheet, right? I can stop the bot. So the next action is get, get first free column row, right? And let's see. So when it will get the first free column and row, it will store the value in the first free column variable and first free row will be stored in the first free row variable. I will click on save, right? And then what I want to do is, let's say I want to write some text. So I'll put the write to Excel worksheet. And then I'll put the value, let's say test on the specified cell, okay. And I'll select the first column name as first free column. And in the row, I will choose the first free row. And then I will click on save. Now when I run the bot, you will see that it is entering the value in the second column and in the second row. As you can see, it has entered the value in the second column in the second row. Now if I run the bot again, you will see that it is, it will update the value in the third column and in the third row. When I run the bot and go back to Excel, now you see that it has updated in the second column, sorry, third column and third row. Like this, if I come back and here I put that first free column minus one and first free row minus one. So now what will happen is, I will click on save. So which one is the first free column now? D is the first free column. And which one is the first free row? So fourth is the first free row. So now what will happen is, it will just update this value, right? Because first free row is fourth one. But when I, when I have put minus one, so it will update here. So basically you will not see any changes on the Excel worksheet. As you can see, it has written the data again on the same cell, right? So this is how we can use this. Get first free column row from Excel worksheet and we can test it by using this right to Excel worksheet, right? So this is all about the actions what we have in Excel category which is attached to running Excel instance, right? And we can also get add new Excel worksheet in the Excel workbook. And we can also set active Excel worksheet. You can get the column name, you can get the first free column and row, right? So this is how you can use it. So if you like this video, please click on the like button and please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any question or feedback, please post it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.